Hey everyone, I'm the Off Grid Vegan Chef, and in today's episode, I'm going to review the new Light Life plant based burger. About an hour ago I made this delicious cheeseburger using a Beyond Burger. You can get that video here. Now I'm going to make another burger using the Light Life patty and see how they compare. I've also got an extra package of unopened Beyond Burgers so we can compare the two side by side before I cook the burger. As you can see the Light Life patties have a slightly different color and texture than the Beyond Burger. They also have similar ingredients and nutrition facts, but not exactly the same. I'll start out by seasoning my patty, then I'll drop it into a screaming hot skillet, let it cook for a few minutes, give it a flip, ah oh, son of a Alright, let's try that again at a lower temperature. Okay, yeah, that's much better. These patties don't seem to hold up to high heat as well as the Beyond Burger, so something to consider, but all in all, that looks pretty good. As for dressing the burger, I'm not gonna do anything fancy here. I've got my toasted bun, I'll add the patty, now I'll add a little bit of vegan mayo, a little mustard, some pickle chips. Yeah, I'm sticking my fingers in the jar, whatever, they're my pickles. couple slices of tomato, some onions, almost forgot the ketchup. It's important that it comes out of a packet for maximum authenticity. Put the cap on. Alright, it's looking pretty good. Now here are some obligatory close-up food porn shots. All right, let's cut into this thing and give it a taste. And I must say, that looks very good. I'm really excited to try this. Okay, so I really stuffed my face during the recording of this, so I'm not going to subject you to that audio. Instead, I'm just going to talk over myself eating here. I really liked the burger. It was very good. I liked it a lot. Um, tasted like a fast food burger. In fact, it actually reminded me of the Beyond Burger from Carl's Jr. Do I have a strong preference towards one over the other? I don't think so. I liked this just fine. I think most people would probably have a pretty hard time telling the two apart. I guess it's maybe sort of like a Pepsi Coke situation, or maybe the Impossible Burger is Pepsi and this is RC. I think I would just buy whichever one was the cheapest at the moment. I don't think, again, I don't think I have a real strong preference towards one over the other. So that's my take on it. Thanks a lot for watching. Please like and subscribe. And if any of you have tried this burger, please leave a comment below and let me know what you thought about it.